Hello, everybody. I wanted to talk to you today about cabbage. Uh, whether you love it or hate it, cabbage is incredibly um, beneficial for all kinds of things. So I wanted to let you know what some of these things are. It's a popular natural ulcer remedy. So doctors reportedly use it for decades before antibiotics were available to help with stomach uh, ulcers. It's rich in vitamin C, and it really does help prevent H. pylori infections, and it helps treat H. pylori. If you've ever had stomach pain, it's really intense. Um, I used to have gastroparesis, which means the stomach didn't work. And um, it wasn't H. pylori, but it was intensely painful, and I was on a liquid diet for a year. The stomach just shut down and wouldn't work. And for me, it was caused by stress. but um, if I would have known about cabbage, then I think I would have juiced it a lot more. I had a juice during that whole year, and that's all I could do is drink juice and water, and that was it. Um, I think cabbage might have actually helped kick in the stomach to work again. Early studies observed that daily consumption of fresh cabbage juice appeared to help heal stomach ulcers more effectively than any conventional treatments at the time. Uh, those, uh, there's been some studies, right, in participants that had ulcers said that their ulcers healed after seven to 10 days of treatment of cabbage juice alone, which is three and a half to six times faster than previous studies and than reported with conventional over, or medications prescribed by the doctor. In another study, cabbage juice was given to 100 participants with stomach ulcers, most of whom had previously received conventional prescription treatment, and they didn't have any success. 81% said they were symptom-free with ulcers within a week. That's huge. Absolutely huge. You can buy cabbage juice from a variety of places. Um, I looked around to see where you could buy it. You can even buy it on Amazon. So um, cabbage juice is loaded with antioxidants, including vitamin C and vitamin E, which is going to also help with the appearance of, of um, skin. It um, flushes out free radicals in from the surface of the skin and can reduce signs of aging. It also can help detoxify the body. So it's considered a diuretic substance. So people who have been drinking cabbage juice to get rid of toxins in the body for centuries and the glycosinolates, I think I said that right, that are found in cabbage juice help eliminate toxins in the body helps eliminate unnecessary hormones and enzymes from the body and detoxifies liver and kidneys. It also can add in weight loss. So it only has about 18 calories per eight ounce glass. And if you drink it prior to eating a meal, it makes you feel fuller faster. And it also lowers your risk of snacking in between meals because you feel fuller. Uh, it also uh, boosts immunity because it has the vitamin C, it has uh, antioxidants, it has immune strengthening materials. Um, it, it's a great product to boost that immune system in your body. It can help lower cholesterols. It helps lower the LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. And it will help balance your cholesterol levels. And it may help improve your brain function which is, I mean, who doesn't need that anymore? We're so overwhelmed with everyday stress, with having to juggle multiple things anymore. So anytime that we can find something that's totally natural that can help with brain function, that's, that's huge. As I said, it can help balance your hormone levels and it can reduce your chances of developing either hyper or hypothyroidism. It has... Um, Antioxidants, which is going to help with um, prevent uh, carcinogens from negatively impacting cells. Remember, all of us probably have cancer cells in our body. 
But if we can do something to prevent those cancer cells from coming together and making a tumor, then um, that's, you know, and it's all natural, that's huge. And it lowers blood pressure. So this is one of the things I'm going to look at too, because I, I added um, some herbs that I've talked to, to you before, like bergamot, for uh, lowering blood pressure and uh, lipids. But I'm also going to look at maybe adding some cabbage juice to my diet. But there are some side, effect, side effects I want you to be aware of. There's actually very few, but there are few. <laughs> The first one is gas and bloating. So the active ingredients in cabbage juice um, can interact poorly with your gut. And, and so it can lead to increased gas and bloating. So you might want to, you know, add it just a little bit at a time to your diet until your gut kind of uh, um, acclimates to the juice. And if you have IBS and you're drinking a lot of cabbage juice or eat consuming a lot of cabbage, it can actually make your IBS a little bit worse. So you, you definitely want to stay um, within the um, recommended dosage, daily dosage of cabbage or cabbage juice. You don't want to go crazy with the stuff because it could um, drive that. A little bit nuts. The other thing that it can do if you're drinking a lot of cabbage juice to eliminate like a stomach ulcer, there's a chance that it could affect your thyroid gland. So again, always speak to your doctor before you start something like this if you have a condition and um, always stay within recommended daily dosages or, or lower when you start something. But again, speak to your doctor. But I'm thinking that this might be a, um, a really good way to do wonderful things for the body. I remember years and years ago, my mom was actually a Clairol model <laughs> and she drank a ton of cabbage soup. So she made it, it seemed like our house smelled like cabbage every single day. And she just, she constantly had cabbage soup and that's what she drank. She drank the, ju the soup, she ate the cabbage every single day. I mean, this was for years, like my whole childhood, and she always looked phenomenal, and her skin was amazing. So I think that was probably the cabbage, and I never knew that. So let me know if you add it to your diet and how it works for you, and I think I'm going to add some to my diet every day too and see how it helps me, and I'll report back to you.